Hey, this is Jeff, Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Recently I was asked, what do I need to get started with the Dutch ovens? Now this right here is just some basic stuff that you will need to get started. And, you know, Hunter here, we'll show you what you need. The supervisor's over our land saying, do this, do that. Anyway, we'll get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a, is a good Dutch oven. This is a lodge. It's made here in America. Matter of fact, just right down the road from me in South Pittsburgh, uh, Tennessee. It's a 10 inch. It's all purpose. Now, if you wanted to, uh, if you got cooking for more or a lot of people, you might want to get the 12 or bigger. But, and yeah, this is dirty because I recently used it. But it's big enough. And of course, I got a little bit of ash in there, but it's nice. A uh, couple of things you ought to know about it. Of course, when you get buying one, you want to buy one with with the legs, and you want to buy one with the lip on it. And of course, I'm not going to get into a bunch of history on Dutch ovens, but Dutch ovens is the lip. They said Paul Revere. Was the last person to design the Dutch oven. He came up with the lip during the American Revolution or before. Now, when it comes to Dutch oven, another thing that I like is the liner. Now, Lodge come out with a parchment paper liner. You can just uh, you can put it in here, or they got the pans. You just stick down in there. You've seen me use these quite a bit. It's not a lot of mess. And one of the big things about Dutch oven is, is the cleanup. That turns off a lot of people about Dutch ovens. So you've got that. Now, you've also got aluminum foil. And I think I've, in one of my videos before, I showed you how you can line your Dutch oven with aluminum foil. But that's another good handy thing you can use. So let's keep, let's uh, let's go on. All right, let's talk about lifting your lid. Uh, there's uh, lifters out there which I'll show you that you can buy, but let's just say you just buy the Dutch oven. You don't have a lifter. If you have got a hammer, a hammer will work just just as good. But let's just say you want to buy a lid lifter. Lodge has got this one. Now this is made in America. This is made in China. That it just slides underneath and it picks up. But Camp Chef, let me get over here. Camp Chef has got this. It works really great. You just lift it up and set it back down. While you're holding it, you can rotate it, whatever. But yeah. Now, let's go over to something else that you're going to need. Now this right here is a lid holder. It's it's actually a multitasker. Of course, say it folds. It's easy to carry. You can even probably if your Dutch oven's long wide enough, you can put it in there. But just fold it. And you can rest your lid on it. That way you're not getting anything on the bottom of the Dutch oven. Now, this is also, you can flip it over, you can put coals around it, and use a skillet to fry whatever you want. That's another good reason. And also, let me get this off here. Your lid also acts as a little frying griddle. Put your coals underneath, it gets hot, you can fry what you need. So that is also another must that you will need. Now let's talk uh, tongs. This is like a dollar at some of the stores. It's good to fix, you know, put underneath your uh, 
make your ring pattern, whatever. Or you can buy the big set, which also helps out with the heat off the hands. But tongs right here is another item that you're going to have to have. Now another item that I would recommend but you don't have to have because you can lay your coals right here, start them and move them where you want to. But a chimney helps it out a lot more be better. You put paper or you can use like uh, cotton balls with petroleum jelly on it and just as long as you get something under here to, to heat to fire up your uh, your briquettes and then then you can pour them out you've seen me do it before but at the same time what you want to do is you'll need some gloves now that is an, another must that you've got to have uh, these are old welder gloves that way it's hot you got to lift up the lid or you know you're going to have to have them so invest in a good set of uh, welder gloves and you can't go wrong and then another thing you're going to have to have is a way to uh, light your charcoal which you'll need one of these Okay, here's, uh, here's another helpful tim, uh, uh, tip, charcoal. Now, I keep charcoal in these right here. And the reason I do that, because number one, the charcoal bag get wet, you can spill it, dust gets everywhere, uh, like the supervisor will pee on the bag. But let's just say you're out camping or you're at the house and you're doing your Dutch ovens and it, you're not paying attention and it rains and you're trying to grab everything while your charcoal's going to get wet. Now I'm using these right here but a lot of you local restaurants will give you a pickle bucket, five gallon pickle bucket. Uh, if you've got cats and you got those great big uh, cat litter containers that are plastic that when you close up you can use those but you'll but you need one of those that this is this is a good way to uh, keep your charcoal dry okay last but not least I tell everybody have you a book have you a book fix uh, you can print off Dutch oven recipes off the internet you just have to type it in and a lot of them will come up. Uh, lodge, if you buy a lodge, a lot of times they'll come up with a, they've got a book that, that will help you out. Uh, Camp Chef also has recipes. Uh, and then you might want to come up with your own. And if you do, write it down. Now, I've covered this before, so I'll cover it again just for this. You're out camping, you know, look at the weather, look at the temperatures. You know, if it's real cold out there and you're trying to camp, it's gonna take more calls off this way to keep that thing warm. If it's, you know, during the summer months, it won't take that many calls. Even though it says, well, you gotta put, now the rule is you put 10 on the bottom and then you double it on top, which would be 20 minus two calls. So that'd be 18 coals on top, depending on what temperature that you want. Uh, Boy Scouts of America has also got a book. Uh, you would you need to go online and uh, get the chart. There is a chart that tells you for what size Dutch oven you have, what temperature you want, and what the degrees are. But until you learn, write everything down. That way you can always go back to it later. So, I hope this helps, uh, yeah, just buy you a Dutch oven, get you a liner, I, I showed you some of the stuff that you need. We're going to be doing a full video of different types of Dutch ovens, even the ceramic ones, and 
what you need to look for. But for now, this is Jeff with the guys, Tennessee Buck Outdoors, and we'll see you next time.